Alright everybody, welcome back. We are about to head into the workshop to see what we can find as far as trying to help Zip. So... Oh, hey there. <sighs> this is where it all began. We leave it unlocked in case any of us ever wants to come back and reminisce. I haven't been back in a long time though. Anyway, in you go. Cool. Alright, what do we got in here? Hmm. I guess it seems kind of small when you compare it to the offices we have now. But everything that grew into the Broadleaf Inc. Uh, we know started here. Heh. <laughs> yeah. And Zip recorded every minute of it. The guy was obsessed. Yeah, it was his idea to leave this place just like this forever too, huh? So we'd never forget where we came from. Hmm. Ah, a fine sentiment to be sure. Well... Shall we have a little look around and see what we can find? Yes, let's do that. Okay. This is a very small room. <laughs> do you know, lad, I've always liked a treasure hunt. All us pirates do, I suppose. What's that now? This ain't supposed to be a game. Well, I know it's that right enough. I was just staying, that's all. Oh, wow. I found it. I expect the tech in Broadleaf to be kind of similar to what we have back home. But I've got to say, they're way ahead of us. Found it. Mimbalith. Hey! Bracken, I found this. Is it anything important? Huh. It's a Mimbalith. A pretty old one. Must be left behind from back in the day. Oh. What's a memolith? Well, you take a crystal and run a tiny magical current through it to record visual data. Then, you can run a light beam through it, focus with the prism lens, and watch the data back whenever you like. By which I mean, uh, in layman's terms, it's... Well, it's a device you can use to record memories. Golly! And can we watch them now? The ones on this memolith, I mean. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's play it back and see what we have here. Hey, Bracken? There's something up with this circuit. Can you take a look? Sure. Let me see. Yeah, I think you're getting some leakage right about here. Okay, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do. Oh, that'd be great, thanks. I can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a game changer for the energy business. The technology we build here today will make a better tomorrow for everybody. I can feel it. Me too. I like how Trey's in the background looking unimpressed. Wow. That was from way back when we first started out. Yeah! Perfect. Then we can use it to jog the president's memory, right? Huh. I'd say so. A picture's worth a thousand words, after all. Sure would be good to have a couple more than just one, to be sure, though. Are there any other memories from back then, Bracken? Hmm. Zip was kind of hot on destroying sensitive data. If it wasn't essential to running the company, it pretty much all got wiped. Yes? But I took a look in the database just now, and it seems like four memoliths are unaccounted for. Which means there may be another three out there somewhere. If we could find all of them, that ought to be enough to jog his memory for sure. But it seems a little unlikely that we're going to find them just laying around like we did this one. You're right. Sure, it's unlikely, but I have an idea how we might be able to maximize our chances. If those memo lists went missing, somebody probably lost them. So the first thing we do is go to where most people are, the factory. All right, let's head for the factory and look for those memo lists. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out like this, guys. Bracken! Temporary party member, uh, let's see. Roland, I think you might have to go. Although I don't know what, uh, what does she use? Uh, 
Oh, she's a... You know what? I've been... I ignored Batu. I'm going to remove my other sword wielder. And get Bracken in the party. So now we have swords, spears, and, uh, and hammers. Let's see if I can give her any... Oh, I don't want you in the lead. What are you doing? Maybe she's not. Okay. Gabriel's Glaive. Oh, yes, I have so much better stuff for you. Venomous Cataclysm Axe. Holy crap. Glowing Steel Pounder. And the Merciless Castle Crusher. Oh, you also use a gun. That's cool. Let's give you the Burning Salamander. Autumn Mantle. Let's see what we can give you. Let's give you some Bone Mail. Some better cybernetic boots. You know what? Let's give you that. Do you have a gun? Um, and... What else could we give you? Bright, that's light resistance. Pendant of grit. Don't even know what nixing is. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just do that. Because, awesome. Alright then. We've got to head to the factory. Figure out... Can I just... No. It's a big book on the table. I want to play with it. Hey. Uh, excuse me, all of the people. Don't mind me. What do you have? Beep boops? You have beep boops? Okay. Thank you, beep boop. I do. I'm gonna go this way just to figure out what else is over here. Oh, there's the uh, the quest dude. There you are. Welcome to Swift Solutions. I've got stuff for you. Yeah. Um. Do you have any people? No, you don't have any people. Okay. Got buttons. I got swellfish. Got fur. Got bonanzas. I got silver. Got sea silk. Underwater. And uh, that. Okay. Let's give you all of the quests. <laughs> You sure you don't have any people? Okay, fine. Oh, by the way. All right. I'm sure he'll get people as soon as I finish with the actual getting this, you know, place on my uh, on my to-do list. All right, let's get moving. Guess we are going to use the elevator again. Hi. 
I'm gonna go to Midtown, because I don't know where the factory is. So we'll just have to, uh, assume that maybe it's in- no, it's not. That's okay. Uh, I wanna look at what's up- up here anyway. It's you. Uh, hello? What have you got? What do you got? You have... Nothing. You don't have anything worth getting, you robot. You should be ashamed of yourself carrying such crappy things. Is it okay to be sleeping on benches in this town? I don't know. Check out your food. Good ol' eggnog! Oh my god! Uh, yes please? And that looks like that's probably it. Yes, okay. Wee! Wee! Alright, I assume the factory is then on the top floor. going actually back up to the landing pad where we were before. That is apparently where the, uh, the factory is? Yes, indeed. You seem oddly overdressed. Factory security at level 5 authorized personnel only. What the... Wait a second while I teach our friend here some manners. <laughs> Welcome, fellow workers. Here's to another great day at Broadleaf Inc. Just say the word if you need the elevator. <laughs> That's more like it. Yes, because that is how you handle unruly robots. You punch them. Oh my, so much stuff popped up. Okay, let's see. Is there anything more awe-inspiring than exploring ancient ruins? It makes one wonder how people once lived, loved, and worshipped. Alas, all we have now is conjecture. Historical inquiry, no matter how thorough, can never give us absolute certainty. Well, neither can those ruins, quite frankly. Because I have a spell, again, one developed in the kingdom that lets you uh, turn back time on stuff that has been destroyed. And some of these ruins, yeah, you, 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 you know, okay, yay, now they're uh, back together again, you can go inside them. But there's nothing of interest in there other than monsters, so. Broadleaf is amazing. There are robots all over the place. Imagine being made of metal. It would be so weird. I can't tell what's going on inside their heads, but I know all I know is that they're really adorable. Now I want one of my own. Okay. So, I was just taking a look at the demo going on when who should arrive on the scene but Bastion. I've never seen a Kingmaker IRL. <laughs> oh god. I've never seen anything that big before. I just hope nobody got squished. The Wandering Wordsmith. Hey, that's the that's the uh, the shopkeep guy that's in Cloud Coil Canyon. I watch the sunset from inside the metallic treehouse that towers over Broadleaf, and munch methodically on a sugar treat, known as the Get Up and Go Nut. No, I decide this place is not for me. The pace of life here is far too frantic. Okay. Man, another engineer just passed out. The poor guy hadn't left his desk all week, and I guess it just hit his limit. Somebody should make a formal complaint. Okay, wait, he hasn't left his desk at all. Where does he pee? I don't I don't wanna know. Maybe I just don't wanna know.
That's right. The whole room is an elevator. Excellent. Um, we're in a dungeon. I like the music, though. Well, now. So how do you propose we find these memory stone contrivances of yours? In a great cavern of a place like this, eh, girly? Well, memoliths are pretty small, right? Which means people lose them all the time. And that's not good when they're filled with sensitive data. <laughs> Which is why I created a handy utility to scan the vicinity and find them. <clears throat> a utility what? Which, which, the vicinity, how, what now? Uh-huh. Thanks to the database, we know the serial numbers of the memoliths were missing. So if they're here, we should see them soon enough. Whoa! Oh, looks like I'm getting a reading already. It's someplace nearby. It's coming from the archive over there. But the whole factory's on lockdown. We'll need to fire up the boilers before we can get in there. Come on. I'll take you to one on this one on this floor. I'll send you the floor plan. So if you get lost, you can check your map. Wow. Uh-huh. Combat droids. Yay. Okay, well. Oh boy. Stealing nuggets. Yeah, that's right. Hey! Okay. Don't you even think about it, you robot weirdo. Uh, I'm sorry, did you just have a floaty thing with you? What's this do? Looks like this control panel isn't active at the moment. Okay then. Fine. Okay, so this has to turn at some point. Who just healed me? Oh my god, do I finally have a healer? Excuse me, but I need to check something. Health up. Oh, you're staying in my party. You're staying in my party forever, ma'am. Oh my goodness. Don't have to rely on the higgledies. Well now. I'm sorry, you're talking about high grade oil? Is this one of those boiler thingies you were talking about? Uh huh. Yeah, if we can light it, the steam it produces should start generating power. Huh. A steam engine, huh? Then we'll need some fuel. Huh. I uh, guess you could put it like that. Evan, I'm going to teach you a spell. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yes, of course. Listen carefully to my pointing finger. Kindle? If you cast that on the boiler, you should be able to get just the right number of fire higglies together to help you light it. Your usual fire spells are all well and good for battle, but they don't give you the fine control you need for this kind of thing. All right. So I just need to cast Kendall on the boiler. All right, here goes. All right, here we are. All righty. Good. Now we should be able to change the direction of gears the gears are turning. Use the control panels and see if you can use the gears to get over to the archive. Hmm. Alright. 
Here we go. Oh, I missed the stairs. Okay, there's one. Now, there was something, another one. Let me see. Okay, that's weird. Didn't I get over here? Okay, well, whatever. Alright, oh, we got enemies again. God, it is the best thing in the world to have a healer in my party. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay. I'm getting myself lost. Maybe I need to flip this again. Oh, yes, okay. I didn't realize that it had moved that when I did it. Okay. Oh, not that way. Okay, let's get rid of you guys. Okay. Go away, big robot. What I get? Go! Oh, oh my God! I got eggnog. Flip it, egg! Cool. This place is a mess. Yeah, when the treehouse finally went up, they moved our old offices over here, and this place wound up being where they dumped a bunch of old records. Alrighty. All right. Let's dig out that minolith, shall we? Mimolith, not minolith. Got it! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I knew I was right. Go find me is the headache saving killer app the world's been waiting for. Huh? What kind of weird name is that? Never mind that. Let's watch the next moment. Mem memo list. I'm having a hard time saying that. Zip! The launch was a disaster. Everybody hates it. Half the units we shipped have been returned. What? Why? Why? Damn it, my design was perfect! I'm sorry, Zip. This is the end for us, huh? We're finished. Man. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Okay, Zip needs to calm down. You're gonna quit whining and start thinking. That's what. This isn't the end. It's the beginning. Someday soon, the world will finally understand my vision. We're not giving up until that day comes. We nearly went under, right then and there. I can remember sitting up crying all night long. It was hard, but nobody did more to get us back on our feet than Zip. He was an inspiration. Yeah, but quite frankly, he seemed like he had a little bit of a problem even back then.
God. Dang it! It doesn't make any damn sense. The figures for the perpetual fission reactor, they're all over the place. Sorry. I'm sorry, sir. But with the prototype in this state, it's just not safe. Shut up! I shut don't up, want to shut hear up, it. Just fix it. We need to finish that thing, and we need to finish it now. I don't care what it takes. Y yeah. Gah. My head. Ugh. God, never mind that. We'll never get the job done if I let this slow me down. Nobody takes a break. Not me, not anybody. We work all night if we have to. Um, that doesn't seem healthy, Zip. You should probably sleep. Alrighty. I'm getting a signal from the next level up. It's a smart stick lab. <laughs> you can tell us what exactly a smart stick is on the way. Let's get moving. And here we go back to the music again. Good luck, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Your judgment is nigh. I like it. Oh my, we are outside. Just just checking. Okay. Shall we? <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. Up we go. We got on this end. We got sparkly bits, that's what we got. We got eggs and, and bits of wool. Alrighty. Time to get the boil on this floor filed up. No. These red cogs, they are the first of their color we have seen, are they not? <sighs> Ugh, it's another security measure. You can only control them with the panel of the same color. It was Zip who came up with all this stuff, you know. He said it was so that only people smart enough to figure it out could get in. Uh, well, that's that's not a that's not a good. I'm I'm kind of a dumb when it comes to puzzles, so that's nice. Okay, well, let's get to the boiler at the very least. Oh, thank you. Whee! Heck yeah, man, I love them golden balls. Okay. Can't get over there. Shall There's we? the boiler. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we can go down there, but we can't use that just at the moment. Can't go there. All right, let's get this turned on. Yeah. 
Okay, so yes! the blue ones are only lit up. Okay, let's see where the I can get through here. Okay, well I can't get through that way. All right. Um, that goes to a dead end. Let's go to work. Oh, what are you doing up there? It's a stupid place to be. Okay. Well, let's turn the red one on. Everybody's on. Okay. Woo yeah! Woo yeah, indeed. I'm sorry I don't have your level of enthusiasm, Bracken. But. Okay. Can't do that. Probably gonna have to flip it back over to the other way. Okay. So. We've got... Okay, okay, we can't go that way. We do have this. One second before I go hitting anything. Just to make sure of where I can get... Oh. Uh, oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but, uh... the world did I just do? Okay, well this is where I need to be. But... I kind of made it impossible. So... That one in the right place. This one is in a good place as well. Um. What did that do? Basically, can I? Careful, everyone. I can't. Oh, what the heck? Uh, excuse you. I'm counting on you. Nobody asked you guys to be button in and, uh, you know, leave me alone. Alright. Let's try this. Can I get up here? Yes, I can!
Alright. I need your help. Boom. All right, we are up here. Where does this go? This goes back. Ah. Oh, hush up. And yes. Okay. That's where I need to be going. That's where I can go now. Excellent. Oh, hello. Dark crystals. I think that is a good place to actually do a save. We've only got two or four of those stinking uh, memoliths, so we've got still at least halfway through here to be going, so... Hey, my goodness, I am a bit lost in all of the chaos of this fight. Alright, can we get in here? Yes, we can. Alright, here we go. Another room. And we found another! Nice! There's three monoliths now. Monolith got memolith. Uh huh. Yep, let's see what's on this one, shall we? It's finally ready! Behold, the all singing, all dancing smart stick! Oh, I'm sorry, the what? With one of these revolutionary devices, Anyone can be a wizard. No more magic monopoly for the casting classes. Now, there'll be spells for everybody. You did it, Zip. Congratulations. Hey, hey, I couldn't have done it without you guys. This was a team effort. Don't forget that. I know I will. Thank you, all of you. That's what a smart stick is. We were a team back then. We all thought the same way, wanted the same thing. How did it all go so wrong? Well, you know, stuff happens. Like, evil darkness. Um... President Vector, the reactor, there's been an explosion. Huh? What did you say? Well, you An see... explosion? We're trying to remove the injured to safety, but we're too busy to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn about the injured. What about the reactor? Is it damaged? Y yeah Yeah, but only a little. It shouldn't set us back too far if we... Uh-huh. Good. Then replace the team members you lost and continue the work. Nobody rests until it's fixed. Get your guys together and go to work. Dude. You need to have somebody put you in your place. I'll do it. There's just one member lift left to find. Uh-huh. Yep. And I just found the signal. Perfect timing. It's another floor up. The production line. Huh. So really did find them all. Who knew? Well, we haven't found the last one yet, Roland. Don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. Here we are, at the production line. Okay, let's go ahead and just head up. Oh, no, never mind. Let's not head up. Ooh, I found a treasure. It's more music. 
Looks like there's plenty of places where I can drop down. That looks like it's from the bottom. Oh! Oh, man, this dang door is the biggest pain of them all. In what way? Well, through there is where we make a lot of stuff that hasn't been announced yet. It's all top secret, so the security's extra tight. See the three lights above it? The door won't open unless all three are lit. Which will mean finding all three lock switches. <laughs> Ugh, more blasted contrivances and contraptions. Tis one thing after another with you swabs. Why, back in Cloud Coil Canyon, we were happy with two planks and a latch, Kersey. <laughs> I guess the fact that you were willing to throw people off cliffs just for setting foot in the place probably helped keep prying eyes at bay, though. <laughs> you bet it did. Alrighty. Let's go find these switches, shall we? Meanwhile, Bracken's like, Oh boy, I'm standing around here with a bunch of murdering people. That's great. Oh, well, I found one. That's the easy one. Alright. Oh. Let's see what we've got. In oh, oh, hello. Okay, what's up here? Okay, I see a switch over there. Oh, we got a boiler up here, though. Excellent. Alright. Somewhat powered up and ready to go. Check out over here. There's nothing over here? At all? What am I over here for? Ugh. Silly thing. Okay, I can jump down here, though. I don't know if I want to. That one's on. Let's go see what this will do. Okay. Let's see if I can't get a better look. Okay, we want to be up there? Can we get up there? Yes. Oh, that's a drop down. Never mind. Okay, maybe we'll go over here and see what uh, we can find. Listen. Sometimes switches the security set up oh. for fun. No, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. Why would he do that? That's, that is a really, really jerk move. Alright, let's see where we can get just from here. Well, we can't get to that Higgledy- Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I want that Higgledy switch. But, unfortunately, can't get to it just yet.
Although I have been running into that as of late, finding higgledy stones and then not being able to uh, get into them, sadly, because I don't have an item they, they need. Okay, so... That is still over there. And I can't just jump across. Okay. So... No idea if that was helpful at all, other than getting to this Higgledy Stone. Hello. Whole milk? You need whole milk! Oh my god, that's adorable. Slings be the scorcher. Oh my god, my little viking. My adorable little viking. Okay. I still have no idea I'm gonna be able to do anything, so... I need a better view. Can I just jump? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, thank you for a hammer. Hey, I already have one of those. Okay, come here. Here we go. Got it. did it! All three lights are on! And Already? the door is open! Like, who cares about the lights? The door is open! Alright. Let's go! Hmm, the production line. The last memo list should be around here somewhere. Alright, we shall find it. I found it! Yes! It's the fourth Mimilith. Hmm. Indeed, the fourth and final one. Uh huh. Shall we take a look? Okay, okay, listen, everybody! We've brought a string of hit products to market that have changed the world forever. And thanks to all of your hard work, now we've built this to our revolutionary new campus, the Treehouse! And that's not all the good news. We just added our 315,639th team member, which means we're not a company anymore. We're a nation in our own right. Soon, we'll be the biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? Woo, yeah! We're with you, Zip! Vector, vector, vector! What a day. A company that started out in a shack got big enough to build this place. Got so big that it became an actual country. He had a vision for the treehouse. He wanted to build a place where people could live happy and work happy. And dang it if he didn't do just that. I had my doubts, you know. He was a different person back then. He had a smile for everybody. Where did the old zip go? Swallowed by darkness.
Ah. Zip, we have an issue. I, I mean, we're facing a challenge. Yeah. If it's not about the reactor, I don't want to hear it. We can worry about it later. Well, it's, you see... Well, there are intruders down on the factory floor, sir. Yeah! Then get rid of them and stop bothering me. Good thing I have time to worry about your stupid intruders. Is that my job, too? I'm Zip Vector, remember? Inventor of the Perpetual Fission Reactor? The guy who pays your wages? Dude. You need to, like, cut out the caffeine and the craziness pills. That's all the memoliths. Now we just have to show them to President Vector. There's... There's one more I want to show him. But I thought you said there were only four. Uh-huh. There were four listed as missing on the database. This one, it's more of a personal record. The chief engineer's office is up ahead. I'll tell you more when we get there. Okay. Something tells me we're about to have a bit of a fight on our hands. Come on. Let's go. Okay, what's... What's going on in here? Nothing? Alright. <laughs> Welcome to where- Stop giggling. Welcome to where I work and sleep sometimes. Feels like I haven't been here in a long time. You probably haven't. Well, let me just grab that memolith. What's on it, Bracken? Well... I guess you could say it contains one of the most important memories of my whole life. Golly. Anyhow, with this and the others, we should have more than enough to make Zip snap out of it. He'll be in the reactor control room. Come on. It's upstairs. Nothing else in here? Nothing else cool? Okay. This elevator should take us up to the reactor control room. Uh-oh. I knew this big room was here for something. Blimey! What's going on? I'd say somebody isn't too keen on us coming knocking. Oh boy. The future of workplace security. The obliterator. Shall we? Oh, I'm sorry. The obliterator. Uh -huh. Hey! Excuse me. Excuse me. Gotta get to my babies. Oh no. Alright. Gotta, gotta smack. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Well, good grief. I don't like this thing. This thing is a, oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Ah! All you was. Thank you, thank you. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Wait, 
Yeah, we made it really mad. I'm hoping to continue to make it really mad. Yes! I love you, Golden Ball! That thing meant business. It's gone now. Let's go see Zip. A swift plunderbuss. Let's go ahead and see if that's uh, good for you. Nope. All right, let's get moving. Oh wait, something from Leaf Book. The world in pictures. Yes, that's a very nice desert, thank you. Hello, robot. Hello, beep boop. Go to the king's cradle yet. Oh, Zip! Excuse me. Hello. Hey. We need to talk. Gah. Really? So you're the intruders, huh? Makes sense, I guess. Who else could have gotten around my security measures but you? Right, Bracken? President Vector, there's something you need to see. Yeah. Huh? Show him the Mimilus, Bracken. Time for a trip down memory lane, Zip. Can't wait to get the crystal battery up and running. This thing's gonna be a... The technology we've been- yeah, we, we know, we've seen these already. Some days- Hey, hey, I- Soon, we'll be- And what about the last one? Uh, I was- Why was I- I, I, I don't- There's one last memory I want to show you. Please. You have to remember who you used to be. You have to bring the old Zip back. Uh, so I stayed up all night making this for you? <laughs> How about that, huh? A custom leg made just for you by the world's greatest engineer. You're, you're, you're gonna love it. She has a prosthetic? This isn't my leg. I want my leg. I want my... No, I, I, I get it, Bracken. I, I get that you're upset, but... We're engineers. We solve humanity's problems. We use technology to help people. That's our purpose. That's what we do. Now, do you, do you really want a, a little thing like this to stop you from fulfilling that purpose? I... We solve humanity's problems, and we solve each other's, too, right? Um, you lose a leg, I make you a new one. I lose a hand, well, you know, I, I hope you do the same for me. Oh, Zip. Oh, I didn't know and that! this leg, it's not just a machine. I put my heart and soul into it. It's, it's, uh, it's a part of me. Thank you. Hey, uh, I'm your boss. It's my job. Oh, that is absolutely great! I... Look, Zip, look at it! D Lofty, get You've that face off. You've seen the things we can do these days. I could have upgraded it. I could have gotten rid of the leg you made me. But I would never do that. This leg? This leg is what gave me the courage to carry on. What got me where I am today? I, 
You were the best engineer, the best boss, the best friend anyone could have. You had a good heart, the best. You have to remember, you have to. Okay. I, I remember now, I, I remember everything. What, what, what have I done? Zip, it's you, isn't it? The real you. You're back. Bracken, I... I'm so sorry. If it wasn't for you, I, I don't think I, I ever would have remembered. Aww. Yay! Oh, God. Everything's shaking. Oh, no. Bastion! Oh, dear. Oh, oh no, oh no. Hopefully nobody's under that. Oh dear. I have to imagine someone was probably in there. That's not good. Bastion's back online. Damn it, if he reaches the reactor, he could trigger a total meltdown. And if that happens, Broadleaf and everything around it will be gone in an instant. What? Then we have to stop him. He'll have to find him first. He's equipped with a full optical camouflage. I can't see him on any of my monitors, but judging by the patterns of interference, I'd say there's a good chance he's at the top of the tower. The elevator will take us to the roof. Come on. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're go- we are- we're all Hey, how'd you guys get in here? Never mind. Blimey! You're kidding? Well... This is unfortunate. <sighs> the path to the elevator, how are we gonna get to the top now? <sighs> oh, are we have no time for this. Calm down, everybody. There must be a way. Think. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I've got it. If we can divert enough power to the reactor's high pressure inlets, it might just generate a field of sufficient integrity to to trigger a pattern G chain reaction. Of course, which would enable us to turn light into solid matter, maybe only temporarily, but still, we could use it to make some kind of stairway to the top. <laughs> Good to have you back, Zip. <laughs> <laughs> Only the old you could have come up with th with something like that in a pinch. <sighs> There's just one thing. I know, it's only a hypothesis, but it'll have to do. Attention all team members! I need you to channel all available power into the reactor's high-pressure inlets right now! B but President Vector, they weren't designed to take that kind of punishment. And you know what that means better than anybody. The reactor will go critical and the core will fuse. In other words, we'll wind up with the world's most expensive hunk of junk. You sure about this, Zip? She's your baby. It's that or risk the lives of every person in this country. You think I'd hesitate for even one second? Yay! Good guy, Zip is back. I'm the executive director of this company and the leader of this nation. Nothing is more important than my people. So flood the damn tubes! That's an order! Yes, sir. For Broadleaf. Aww. Oh, that's cool. It's amazing that it's oh so perfect my looking. Goodness. Now we can get to the top. Reactor level's critical. 
All available energy has been channeled into the high pressure inlets. All right. Nice work, everybody. Now get out of here and get the people to someplace safe. But sir, the reactor's totally unstable. If we leave now, there'll be nothing to... Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? If anyone in this country can keep this thing under control, it's me. But Mr. President, on your own... Ha! Huh. Sure, on my own. I could do it with my eyes closed. You really mean it, don't you? Well, all right then. We'll make sure everybody else makes it out okay. Good luck, President Vector. Yeah, get moving. Get moving, people. Move along. I'll stay here and look after the reactor. If I put even a single foot wrong, it's good night for all of us. But I won't. You guys go shut Bastion down. I'll handle things here. We'll leave right away. Good luck, President Vector. Come on! To the top of the tower! Uh, what are you doing here? I was kind of worried we were all heading for the junkyard a while there. Anyhow, please select a destination. Can I... <gasps> like, you can't take me up the stairs. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh. Hi. Hello, angry piggy. Four-legged fortress. All right. Well, two arms indeed. Oh my God, he's level fifty-one. Oh no! 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 Oh god. Wasn't expecting that. Aw. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh no, oh no, oh man. Hi. Oh god, he's angry. Yeah, okay. We'll get right on that. I'm counting on you. Yep, that's what we're looking for. All together now. I need your help. Ah. Okay, come here, come here. Come on, we need more of ya. More of ya. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are ya? Okay, yes, here we go. Wait a minute. You guys were just there in a circle, and now you're not. No, no, no. Uh, oh my gosh, everybody's dead. Why is everybody dead? How did everybody die? What were you guys doing? Could you guys please stop falling over? Oh my gosh, why are you dead again? Give you some food. Um. Let's see. I 
have no idea if it's magical defense you guys need or what, but you know what? Would you guys play? Thank you! Man, you guys are taking some damage. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we are. It's okay, Angry Piggy. It's okay. Calm down. I think it's... Not so fast. Uh, what? What? Are you kidding me? Okay, get away from it. Get away from it. Oh my god. I need your help. That's why you guys are dying. That's why you guys are dying. Oh my gosh. Um. How can this be happening? I don't know, man, but we better get out of here shoppish. No. Evan. I understand now. A leader must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do. But I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Yay! Not again. Not ever. Good job, Evan. Oh my god! <gasps> He's a big old dragon! Wait, it's just me? Why is it just me? Why am I by myself? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Holy crap! I got stairs! Exactly. Ah! Okay. Okay. This is weird. Don't get hit by the lightning. Don't get hit by the lightning. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. All right. What the? What? It, how did I get? I'm so confused. Okay, this is gonna take me a while, I think. I'm attempting to platform. So wonderful. Okay. <gasps> okay, okay. I see what the problem is. We have quickly disappearing crap. That's not good. Okay, 
Come on. Zip, you need to maintain this a little bit better, please. <gasps> but dang it! Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, dang! Right in his little piggy head. Heck yeah! Oh my god, me and my cave maker are freaking awesome! Although I'm sure he's gonna turn back into the cute, cutesy little thing because he can't stay. Yep, can't stay a big old dragon forever. Huh? Ah, oh, you're kidding! And there I was, just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers! <laughs> Sorry, Lofty. <laughs> it seems that you are only able to maintain your dragonly form for a short while, Lofty. Exactly. Yes, my theory is that the King's Bond was strengthened, but only just enough. So you were able to regain your original form, Lofty, but only for a very short while. What? But, but if Evan gets even more kingly and our bond gets stronger, I'll be able to do it for longer, right? And maybe forever in the end. Go on, my son! Right, oh, Evan, Evan, right on, my son. <laughs> You get king in your head off, my lad. That's an order. <laughs> I will. I can't, still can't believe you managed to take down Bastion. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't. There's no way I would have been able to prevent the core from melting down, that's for sure. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well. But you didn't half scare me with all the talk about the whole kingdom being wiped out. <sighs> Sorry, I... I can't believe it turned out this way. Oops. I'm no president. I don't deserve to run this country. Oh, Zip. Mm -hmm. What's that? Hey! That's your adoring public. Huh? Come on, Zip. We're behind you. Vector, vector, vector. But, but I... Don't deserve to run this country, huh? I think the people might have something to say about that. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world. Real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. Do you guys have an official technology partner? Shut up. Sign the sign the dang declaration, dude. Sign it. Well, goodness, it's beyond time for me to uh, be ending this episode. But you know what? We're right here, so let's do it. Sign it. I'm ready when you are. The sooner we get this pack signed, the better. Come on, let's do it. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we, stand we stand as, as one, one single, single land. land. Yay! So he's looking to bring back this Horned One, and you're looking to stop him? Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? That could be difficult. Yeah, that could. Yes. 
but I can tell by your face you're not gonna back down. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word as president of Broadleaf. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? Yes, Mr. President. Just as you ordered. But is that really all right? Yay! Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? It's fine. Shut up, Evan. Sure. And she'll be important to yours, too. I could hardly send some second-tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? You heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. Huzzah! From hair clips to airships, I'm your gal. From hair clips to airships, I, I'm pretty sure we don't need any hair clips. We're fine. So President Vector was free from the grip of his obsession. And Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. Huzzah. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. Which will be very interesting to try to go back to. So Lottie finally showed his true power. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf, too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. Who are you? I'm sure you? he'll put his people first from now on. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I have a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. It's, it's the lack of glasses, Evan. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really <gasps> close to you betrayed you? What? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. Great. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks so much, kid. Now I know someone is going to betray me. Oh my god. Why would you say this to me? This is what you need, right? <gasps> so, you managed to acquire it. What is going on? Not that on? I expected any less. You are nothing if not dependable. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We good to go then. Who's there? Um... Crikey! <laughs> Roland, what in the world? Chapter 7 A Traitor in Our Midst. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God. What do you want, Kersey? I've plenty to keep me busy without your little words in my ear, you scurvy swab ye. Sorry, boss, but it's important. You'll be wanting to hear this, you can be sure of that. You see... I was about me business in the castle last night when I happened upon a fishy scene indeed. A shady character clad in all robes, a chin wagon with the old roll in there. And if I ain't mistaken, twas more than pleasantries that be changing hands. Seem like state secrets to me. Puh. Roland, what poppycock is this you peddling, man? You were sleeping on the job and you had a little dream, is all. I swear it, boss, that's what I saw. I swear it on me life. 
and when he spied me lurking there, listening, he came after me with a face black as thunder. I was lucky he escaped with me gizzards. Mm. Mm. Well, I ain't about to believe such things or one without proof. But you seem convinced, matey, that's for certain. Very well. I'll keep a weather eye on the swab. See what you can see. Aye. That's all the tweaks to the research facilities implemented, Your Majesty. We've made a few improvements that should ensure they're pretty much future-proof for now. Wow. I have to say, Bracken, things have been coming impressively far, impressively fast since you arrived in town. <laughs> of course they have. Why else would you have made me Minister of Ingenuity? Hmm. Bracken is an asset indeed. But we have made precious little headway in other areas. Not least the question of how to encourage Ding Dong Dell to sign the declaration. Hmm, yes. We can't even get close to them, let alone convince them to hear us out. And with the Horned One's resurrection surely growing closer with every passing day, we simply cannot afford to let these petty differences divide us. Hmm. Forgive me. Ah, uh, there was something I wish to speak with you all about. Unfortunately, there have been some recent events within the realm that have... Mm -hmm. mm, what is that noise? Oh god. Could you please take that off the front of your airship? Hey, you guys! Room for one more? <laughs> Stop that! Stop laughing like a weirdo! How's it going? Things all good over here. Hey! That was quite an entrance zip. To what do we owe the pleasure? Well, we just got done fixing up broadly after all the, uh, trouble, so I thought maybe I could come offer you guys a little help. That's right. The greatest brain in all the world is looking out for you. Lucky you, right? And my first gift to you will be the free use of the Zeppelin. Fly, my friends. The skies are yours now. What? Your airship? Really? Blimey! Amazing! Think of how many we can, many of us we can cram into that thing. We'll be able to fly around even when there's no wind. Exactly! You sure will, kiddo. And now I've upgraded the old girl with a miniaturized perpetual fission reactor. She's zippier than ever, in all sense of the word. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Yeah, that face. <laughs> Zippy's right, Mun. That thing's got your great ugly mug plastered all over the front of it. Oh, flippin' heck. I was trying not to think about that. Hmm. I had wondered if this might be something of an issue. Hey. You're kidding me, right? Ugly mug? I'll have you know this is one of the most mathematically well-proportioned faces ever studied. Um. I must say, I wonder if it might be less conspicuous without the face on the front. <sighs> really? You too, Evan. You're breaking my heart here. Listen. Zip, it's not just about what it looks like. Did you ever stop to think about air resistance? That thing must be causing a heck of a lot of drag. Sorry, but it's coming off. Come on. Come on. Time to get to work. B -b 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 you can't just... Man... All aboard the Zeppelin! Oh my god! I want to do it. Nope, you know I'm not, I don't even care about leaf book right now. I, I really should end this episode. It's gone on way too long, but I want to go see the zeppelin. Or the, I'm sorry, the zeppelin. Where is it? Alrighty. Time to make some modifications. Come on, Bracken, not the face, anything but that. What's the big idea? It's dead weight zip. Sorry. Now, we just need to get rid of this. Try replacing it with, let's see, ah. Then just a little adjustment here and there, and... Woo, yeah! 
perfect, if I do say so myself. Uh. My beautiful Zeppelin. Uh. Well, too late to worry about it now, I guess. She's all yours. Yep, any wide open spaces we can land on. While flying around, simply press X to initiate landing sequence. Oh, Evan, uh, I, uh, I need a little favor. Hmm. Of course, President Vector, what is it? Well, uh, it's like this. Um. Well, now that I gave you guys the zipline, I kind of don't have a ride home. Uh, would you mind taking me back to Broadleaf? Call it a desk light. Any place around there is fine, just as long as I don't have to walk the whole way. Thanks, pal. Really? Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this thing is cool! Turbo boosters! Woo! This thing is awesome! Stop, 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 stop. Uh huh. Oh, Fine. Rude. Can I land on top of the building? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There we go. There, I took you home, dude. Thanks. How about the Zipline, huh? She flies like a dream. Look after her now, yeah? Right-o, me hearties. Homeward we go. Wait. Zip arrived right when Leander was about to tell us something, wasn't he? What was it you wanted to say, Leander? Yes. Let us return home first. We will talk more there. Hmm. Roland, what the heck is going on with you? Like, you're, you're making it so that I, I, like, I... I don't want to stop recording! This is going to be like the most super longest episode that shouldn't be long, but it is. If I may be so bold. I have a rather serious matter I would like to discuss with everyone. May I summon them all here? They are already here, dude. No. As to the matter which I wish to discuss with you all, we have been receiving some rather unsettling news of late from within the kingdom. There are reports of certain resources being unaccounted for, and of a suspicious hooded character having been sighted. These, among several other developments, have become a cause for some concern. <coughs> a robe swab, you say? And a shady sort to boot? Hmm. So we've a thief among our number, eh? That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Uh huh. No, not good. Not good. Golly! Could there really be people in our kingdom who would do such things? I suppose this robed person would be able to tell us. Yeah. Yeah, because he's obviously the one doing the stealing. Huh. Guess it's not such a surprise. Security around here isn't exactly what you'd call tight. No, listen here. What say we convene a little powwow to talk about how to catch the pilferer of ours, hmm? Tonight after dinner, perhaps. Hmm. After all, tis best to strike while the iron's hot for such matters as these. Wouldn't you say, Roland lad? No. Sorry, can't make it. I've been working too hard. Need to catch up on a little sleep. But if it's urgent, feel free to go ahead without me. Hmm. Mm. That'd be real, Roland. I hope you enjoy your rest. You deserve it. Thanks. I will. Uh-oh. I... Mm, 
Okay, Roland, what are you doing? I must thank you again for providing us with the items and information we require, Roland. Don't mention it. Let me know if there's anything else you need. There's one thing I have been meaning to ask. Why do you serve such a kingdom? A fledgling realm populated by bandits and vagabonds. Surely there are places better suited for someone of your inestimable talents. I guess I am kind of used to performing on a bigger stage. <laughs> Maybe it's time I went someplace where they appreciate me a little more. Enemy is a relative term, after all. <laughs> Sage words, indeed. Well... Well, you have done more than enough to earn our gratitude. Should you ever wish for a change of scenery, you're welcome to join us. Um... The dog. So he's selling his soul to the highest bidder now, is he? And if that's so, then... Well, I'm glad I took him out of my battle party. So, Roland, get up to much last night, did you? Meet with any interesting characters? Last night? I don't know what you're talking about. Spare us your lies. You're a traitor, man. Fixing to leave our little kingdom behind for bigger and better. Don't bother to deny it. Roland? Surely not. Oh, dear. Surely so, lad. Or did he think it a coincidence that our precious resources only go missing on this treacherous dog's watch? And what are the shady fella in the cloak he met with this past evening? Just an old pal come for a chinwag, was he? I'd like to hear you explain that little lot away, Mr. President. There must be some mistake. Mustn't there, Leander? One should not rush to judgment on the basis of hearsay alone, but I must say, this does seem somewhat irregular. Does indeed. What? There you have it. Now sling your hook before I sling it for you, you scurvy swine. So that's how much trust I've earned, huh? Good to know. Maybe I would be better off someplace else. Someplace my talents will be appreciated. What the heck is going on with you, dude? He as good as admits it. So long, Batu. Evan. Roland! You can't! Not even the slightest attempt to defend himself. One cannot help but wonder if Batu's suspicions were well-founded. That was really abrupt. No! That was super abrupt. What the heck? Well now. And who are you? Forgive me, Chief Consul. Or should I say, former Chief Consul. So you saw that too, huh? Well, what do you want with me? Why, to engage your services, of course. You have information that would be quite useful to us, I'm sure. That's quite an offer. What exactly did you have in mind? Mm. For one such as yourself? Oh, plenty, my friend, plenty. But if you wish to learn more, you must speak with my master. Oh yeah? And who might that be? <laughs> Why, King Mousinger, of course. There's no need to be coy. Huh. Well, well. Looks like I just landed on my feet. What the heck, Roland? Uh, let's go, guys. Blimey, he didn't come back at all night. We sent Knubish after him, but he hasn't reported back either. Oh, Roland. Oh my gosh, too much is happening!
Yep, back in Ding Dong Dell. King Mousinger awaits you in the throne room. Please make your way straight ahead. And on that note, I must leave you. I do hope your conversation with His Majesty proves fruitful. What? Now we're playing as Roland again? Be objective. Betrayal. Hello. I'm, I think I might have kicked your butt a few months ago. Yours too! Hi. Greetings. What a pleasure. It seems an age since we last met. So much has happened since I took my rightful place upon the throne. Your Majesty. Well, well, well. So this is the famous Roland. Ah, uh, but I am forgetting myself. I am Chancellor Vermin. Charmed, I am sure. I have been following your work with great interest. To have made an almost viable ruler of young Evan is quite the feat. Yes, a sterling achievement. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> I remember very well how you thwarted my designs for our young friend. But rest assured, I bear you no ill will on that account. I have been examining your nature, your actions, and I have decided that you and I may be able to come to an arrangement. Glad to hear it. And good of you to get straight to the point. All right. Shall we get down to business? My terms are simple. I want power. And maybe a little money, too. Give me those, and I'll give you what you want. I'll even give you Evan. <laughs> Very well. I believe in making the best use of the talents of those in my employ. Forgive me. But I will require you to prove yourself first. Oh, yeah? Hmm. We have a prepared a little test for you in the dungeons. Let us see if your loyalty is all really as fluid as you claim. Uh, what in the world? I, like, no, I can't just stop here. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, is this the way to go? I don't know. I don't want to play as Roland. He's a butt. An absolute butt. Also, Mousinger, you can't trust a traitor. So, you probably shouldn't be uh, all like, Yeah, let's, uh, let's use this guy. He'd be great. Is it the Black Knight? Huh? Oh! <gasps> Master Roland! You. You're one of Batu's men. Aye, that I am. Kumbish is the name. This gentleman was apprehended after being observed behaving suspiciously in our airspace. It is our belief that he is a spy. You're gonna kill him, oh my god. Curse you, you devils! Didn't I say already? I was looking for Master Roland! For me? Why? <laughs> Forgive me, Your Honor. Seems I made a blunder? <laughs> you sure did. And why am I not surprised? Now, Mr. Crane, to our test. Let us see where your allegiance truly lies. Dispatching one of your former allies should provide us with adequate proof that you are ready to serve a new master. Oh, dear. No, no. Listen here, you rat-faced swab, you... Is something the matter? Surely you are capable of such a straightforward show of commitment? Or could it be that we have an imposter in our midst? Or did he get special bullets that kind of kill people but don't? Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's just say I prefer to use my own methods. Master Roland! No! We're shipmates! Y you can't just... 
Sorry. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah! Curse you for the traitor you are! Ah! Oh, good grief. Well, happy now? Hmm. Happy enough. Okay, I'm 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 gonna sit here and hope that those are just weird bullets and he's not dead. Hmm. It's been days now, Mon. When old Roly Boy's coming home, eh? Yeah. Kubish never came back when we sent him out to look for him either. Where did Roland disappear to? We have to go and look for him. He might need our... <laughs> he needs nothing from us, girly. And he'll get nothing. The man's a turncoat and a traitor, damn him. But, but... He isn't. He can't be. I refuse to believe it. It must be some sort of strategy of his. Mustn't it, Leander? I would advise you to forget about him, Your Majesty. He is no longer your concern. Forgive me. But you have more pressing worries. Give the traitor no more thought. What? Well, you too. I want to hug Evan. What? Wow, talk about cold. Wasn't Roland one of your best friends five minutes ago? Oh. Mm -hmm. And that's my plan. I figure it should keep those Grimalkin troublemakers out of your hair for a while, at least. Oh. To have formulated such a thorough strategy in so short a time is really quite something, I must say. Mm. Impressive indeed. It seems I was entirely justified in welcoming you into the fold. Now, there is another favor I have been meaning to ask you. The Mark of Kings. You've heard of it. Sure. It's handed down from generation to generation of royals here in Ding Dung Dell as proof of the right to rule. And without it, it's impossible to access certain places. It works as a kind of key, too, correct? Mm. Precisely. It is a pendant of brightest blazing red, a beautiful object indeed. And a necessity if one wishes to enter our nation's king's cradle. Uh -huh. Let me guess. You don't have it and you want it. You are admirably concise as ever. We have searched the castle high and low, and yet it is nowhere to be found, which leads me to believe that it is not, in fact, here. <sighs> it sure isn't. It's around Evan's neck every minute of every day. It won't be easy to get a hold of it. But it doesn't mean it'll be impossible. I'll need a few things and a little time. And you shall have all that you need. There is no other to whom such a task can be entrusted, after all. Say. What about you, Your Excellency? Any errands you want the new guy to run? <laughs> well, I, that's very kind of you. Let me see now. Ah, I should be very much obliged if you could inform Captain Buck that the War Council will unfortunately have to be postponed a little. Sure. I'll get right on it. All right. Time to finally go to work. This is so weird. It's like sending me on a ton of fetch quests and, and stuff, and I don't really understand why. What in the world is, like, I mean, I just don't under, I don't understand. Hello. Oh. Well, well, if it isn't the famous Roland. Only in town a few days, and already the flavor of the month, so I hear. What business could a swan so lofty have with such a lowly soldier such as myself, hm? That's about the size of it. Hmm. I see, I see. So the Council of War has been postponed. I shan't forget, oh no! Oh, and there is one other thing. There's been a change of the postings for some of the guards. All men assigned to the night shift on the east and west blocks are to patrol the outside of the castle instead. Oh. A very mysterious change to the routine, but ours is not to reason why. It shall be done, Mr. Roland. Sir, it shall be done. Mm hmm Good. I'll leave you to pass the word to the shift sergeants. Yes. But of course, your magnificence. Leave it up to my capable hands. 
Oh, he's already... Okay, he is totally doing maneuvers in here. Yep, yep, go the other way, dude. Where are you going? Good, the coast is clear. Are you going to Evan's room? We're going back to where we started. <laughs> what in the world? <sighs> yeah, you should be feeling bad about what you had to do to Nubish. Huh? Locked. Figures, I guess. Well, nothing this little guy can't fix. What is that? What? Why do you have a little worm? I don't want to. I don't want to, Roland. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Okay, what's going on in here? Lockety clicker scuttles off looking pleased with itself. <laughs> it actually worked. Now I've seen everything. Thanks, little guy. All right, here goes. The Mark of Kings should be in here somewhere. Oh, so it's not around Evan's neck. Yeah! The ship's nearly ready. Time to weigh anchor and set sail on the high seas. <laughs> Yar! Uh-huh. Yeah, it's time to go and get the hydro Hydropolitans to sign the de de declaration. But we have to think beyond that, too. Most of all, we need to think about what to do about Ding Dong Dell. They won't be making peace with us anytime soon. <sighs> they won't be letting us close enough to even shout about peace. That whole area is crawling with soldiers. There is a way we might be able to get past them, you know. It's a path only open to members of the royal family called the King's Way. Huh? What's that when it's at home? And why have you never mentioned it before? Mm. Well, because we wouldn't be able to access it without the Mark of Kings. Huh. What is that exactly? It's a pendant, passed down among the rulers of Ding Dong Dell. It serves as proof of the right to rule. It's a key to certain secret places. If it's that important, you can bet Mousinger will be on looking for it too. It was given to me when my father passed away, but... Will I... You went and left it behind when you skedaddled, that skedaddle, didn't you? And where exactly did you squirrel the thing away, laddie? Well, there are hidden rooms in the castle, you see. I thought it'd be safest there, in one of the connected m to my chambers. They were designed so that the royal family could hide in them in times of emergency, and with the help of the mark, even escape if need be. <laughs> And how exactly did you come to leave such a thing so useful behind, you feckless young oaf? <sighs> I'm guessing it's because a certain somebody appeared out of thin air and then all hell broke loose. I shouldn't think that anyone knows about this secret room except myself, which would mean that Mousinger probably hasn't found it yet. Unless you knew exactly where to look for the switch on the statue in the corner of the room, I shouldn't think you'd ever find it. Oi! This is all very interesting, but if we need to go to Ding Dong Dell to find the thing, we need to get us into Ding Dong Dell. That's not much really, really much use, is it? Hmm, I suppose not. So he's been setting this up so he could get inside to Ding Dong Dell and find it. A statue in the corner of the room. Let's see. That's very 
Lots of ingenuity there, Roland. Huh. But he's probably gonna get caught. So that's where the hidden entrance was. He was right. I'd never have found it unless I knew where to look. Wow. It's a pretty big room to be hidden away down here. Huh? Guess this stuff was to help Evan make good his escape. Might as well grab it while I'm here. Oh, hello. This must be the family heirloom itself. The Mark of Kings, huh? Very impressive. But didn't Mousinger said it, say it was red? Trap. <laughs> Very clever, Mousinger. Very clever. Trying to send me on a wild goose chase, huh? Guess he doesn't trust me as much as he pretends. Huh? Or maybe he was just using me to find this place. Oi. What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, just looking for something. Something very special indeed. The Mark of Kings, if I am not mistaken. So it was hidden here all along. And hidden very well. Believe me when I say we searched long and hard. I am disappointed in you, Roland. To deceive one's professed master is most uncivil. Yeah, like you killed the king, dude. <laughs> All's fair in love and war. Isn't that what they say? Indeed it is. I am so very glad not to have believed you for a moment. Now, if you would be so kind as to hand over the mark. I don't think so. This belongs to the king. My king. Yay! Oh my god, thank you, Roland! Of course. If you'll sign the declaration, I'll be happy to make you a trade. You speak of your pathetic union. Now, I hardly think you are in any position to bargain. Not interested, huh? Well, let me know if you change your mind. Ha! <laughs> to send a spy was most... Cunning. I must confess I had not thought your young protege capable of such subterfuge. Well, he's not about to poison his rivals or anything, but he's coming along. Very droll. But you of all people surely understand that no dream worthy of the name can be achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way. It had to be done. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm sure you would. So what is this dream of yours achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way? It had to be done. Suffered and I would do how? It again in a heartbeat. I'm sure you would. So what is this dream of yours achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way? It had to be done. And I not I have achieved my aim. A new era beckons. And my dream is now a reality. Yeah. Tell me something. If your kind were so downtrodden, how exactly did you wind up becoming King Leonard's Chancellor? Pa! He used me! I was the unwitting tool of my persecutor. A puppet chosen to make my people more compliant. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <gasps> oh, dang. I'm tired of listening to this man. We should kill him. Here and now. It's you, the bad guy. Very well. Men, forward! <sighs> Well, here goes nothing. That's yeah! right. Come and get me. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, Roland, you are the most awesome. Hmm? 
I need to get out of here. But there's something I have to take care of first. Yeah, we need to get Nubish. He's obviously not dead. Or Kubish, apparently. Oh my god, oh my god. Ow! Okay, I'm so glad I kept my Higgledies with me, apparently. They're my Higgledies. All of mine. Dang, I have got some moves. Man, yeah, go rolling. Let's go, man. Oh, hey guys. Stop right there. Uh, where am I? Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's not where I need to be. Kubish! Kubish! No time to be laying around, man. Alrighty. This is where you come in. And off you go. That is a weird thing. Uh, devil, swine, traitor, murderer. Uh -huh. Charming. Uh, listen, calm down and ask yourself this. If I was a murderer, how come you still got breath to curse me with? Huh? Uh... I shot you, but not with real bullets. One designed to make you look dead. What's that now? Uh, what? And what possessed you to bring such a confounded doodads along with you, might I ask? There's no time to explain. Here, swallow this. Oh, oh my god. He's turning him into a frog. What? Stay calm. I s it'll wear off before long. At least it's supposed to. <laughs> my turn now, I guess. Well, down the hatch. Oh my god, we're frogs. Sir! They're not here either, your majesty. Gah! Curse you, Roland! Oh my god, Roland makes an adorable frog. Excuse me? I think it's time you told the truth, don't you, Leander? Well... You have seen through our artifice, your majesty. Yes. Of course I have. Roland would never betray us. Or at least not so clumsily. I have to say, I expected more of him. <laughs> the plan could perhaps have been executed with a little more finesse, I concede. Huh? What the blazes you both blabbered about, Kersey? In order to deceive our one's enemies, one must first deceive one's friends. Is that not what they say? What his majesty means is to say that Roland's betrayal was nothing of the sort. 
The entire affair was an elaborately staged performance. Snakes alive! <laughs> you mean to tell me the whole sorry mess was one of them blasted scoundrels' confounded schemes? Hmm. I might not have chosen to put it quite that way, but yes. Upon our return from Broadleaf, I could not help but notice that a number of prying eyes had been placed around the castle. These devices allow one to surreptitiously watch over a location remotely through the use of certain scrying magics. Being familiar with sorcery of this kind, thanks to Queen Nerea's surveillance of Hydropolis, they attracted my attention right away. Upon sharing my concerns with Roland, we investigated together and discovered the presence of an agent of Ding Dong Dell in our midst. Rather than unmask the spy and remove the prying eyes, Roland instead devised a rather ingenious plan to use them to our advantage. The first step in his plan was to make a show of expressing certain disloyal behaviors in full view of the eyes. The next was to ensure that our allies too grew suspicious of his motives. This is why he contrived to carry out his dubious liaisons just as the guard were being changed. The rest you already know. Discord was sown and the traitor in our midst was duly ejected. And having witnessed all of this by means of his prying eyes, the spy approached Roland with an offer he could ill afford to refuse. Elaborate plots. Forgive me. Batsu, the robed figure you took for a sinister visitor from another realm was nothing other than, my than myself. It was necessary to sow suspicion into the mind of one from whom we could expect a suitably violent reaction. <clears throat> you used me. You played me like a blessed fiddle. Hmm. Yes, I rather fear we did. But deep down you knew, did you not? Some part of you sensed that he would never have betrayed us. If I may be so bold... Why else would you have sent your men to find him? Or did you think I was not aware of your little crusade? Huh? What? Ye... <laughs> Tani. Gosh. So, does this all mean that Roland is still somewhere in Ding Dong Dell? But what possible reason could he have for going there all alone? Well, now. Allow me to explain, Your Majesty. Oh my goodness! Okay, Roland, explain yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evan. I've put you through a lot. <sighs> I was so worried about you, Roland. But you're back now. That's the most important thing. Oh, that Le cheek! Leander told us what you've been up to and where you've been. Crikey, you don't want to have love a madcap, John, do you? Oh my gosh, this language. At least you could have done is invited us along for the ride. Look, I want to apologize. If I didn't have to trick you all, I wouldn't have done. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you certainly had me going, lad. Hook, line, and blessed singer. Flip it, Eck. You had all of us going, you horrible man. <sighs> but I think we still believed in you somewhere deep down. Did my gifts pr prove useful in the end? Sure. Sure. Lockpicking bugs, frog pills. You sure know how to keep things interesting. And here's what made it all worthwhile. Evan, this is for you. Golly! The Mark of Kings! Uh-huh. Now, you can open the King's Way and get back into Ding Dong Dell without having to go through all those soldiers. Mousinger was desperate to find it too. Just like I thought he would be. It might be just the beginning bargaining chip we need to get him to sign the declaration. Thank you. Thank you so much, Roland. I can finally get back to Ding Dong Dell. Back to the home he stole from me. And so at last the hour had come for Evan to return to Ding Dong Dell and convince King Mao Singer to sign the Declaration of Interdependence. Bright-eyed, yet heavy-hearted, he prepared to take the final steps of the journey he had begun, what now seemed a lifetime ago. It was time to bring his dream of a united world one step closer to reality. Wow, I didn't know we were going to go through it a whole other chapter, but I just couldn't stop. D 
did my father and Mausinger hate each other? Sometimes it's just not possible for people to stay friends. Sometimes the circumstances just won't allow it. I can't believe that father would have hated someone or been suspicious of them simply because of their species. But then, why else would Mausinger do what he did? Because he's been taken by the darkness. I suppose he was afraid. Afraid? Of what? That the great man he dedicated his life to was using him and will one day cast him aside. Think about it. What could be more frightening than being discarded by someone you love? Not that I know all the details, of course. Right. Hmm. Uh, yes, save the progress. Oh my gosh, all of the progress. Everyone, there's something I need to talk to you about. Before we ask Ding Dong Dell to sign the declaration, I need to know how its people are faring under Mousinger's rule. I should also like to know what they thought of my father. Perhaps they might be able to help me understand why he was murdered. I never once considered their thoughts or feelings when I was their ruler. It's high time I found out what they truly think. Okay, and... How do you plan on doing that? Chapter 8 Land of My Fathers All right. Let me run you through how we're going to infiltrate Ding Dong Dell. The crosses on this map mark the areas where their troops are most heavily concentrated. As you can see, a direct approach via the river would be suicidal. There's no way we get close without being spotted. So we use the zipplin to take us over the river and set us down someplace quieter. From there, we'll make our way via the least heavily guarded areas to the entrance of the Kingsway. It's a good thing Zip gave us the old girl, huh? She's quiet as a mouse, even with the engine full ahead. Which is not to say that caution will not be required. We cannot take the risk of flying too close to the city. A roundabout approach will still be required. <laughs> so the old Sky Pirate full frontal assault ain't in the order of the day, then? Doesn't look like it. This'll be straight in. No, no messing job about the sound of it. Mm. All right, let's make ready to leave. Okay. We are finally at a point where we can stop. Till next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.